Hey everyone. Today we're digging into something that's a bit shocking and honestly a little unsettling. For anyone working in cybersecurity, as of April 16th, 2025, the CVE program, yes, the one that you rely on to track all your software vulnerabilities, is on the edge of shutting down. Now, I know what you're thinking. Surely not the CVE program. That's foundational. And you're right, it is, which is exactly why this story matters. So let's unpack it. So what is a CVE and why does it matter? For anyone new to this, the Common Vulnerabilities and Exposure System has been around since 1999. That's over 25 years of service, tracking publicly disclosed software flaws and assigning them unique IDs. Things like CVE-2025 for 2025 hyphen number. So that everyone in the industry is speaking the same language. It's managed by MITRE, the US-based nonprofit, but it's funded by the US government, specifically through the Department of Homeland Security and its agency CISA. The CVE system is what underpins how vulnerability scanners work, how patching cycles are managed, and how risks are tracked in compliance programs. It's baked into everything from your SIEM rules to your vulnerability reports. Microsoft, Apple, Google, Intel, Red Hat, they all depend on CVEs. So do government agencies and the security vendors across the globe. It's like DNS for vulnerability management. Without it, coordination breaks down. So what is happening? Well, there's a punchline. MITRE's contract to run the CVE program expired on April 16th, 2025. And as of that date, no new funding has been approved. This means that MITRE cannot assign new CVE IDs, can't update the program, and can't even keep it running. Well, not at least officially. The letter from MITRE's leadership to the CVE board made it clear. Without new money, the CVE program may experience a break in service. And that break could happen immediately. Now, this isn't just a missed paycheck. This is potential service outages affecting the entire global cybersecurity ecosystem. So why did this happen? Like a lot of issues, it boils down to politics and budgets. The US government's 2025 cost-cutting program, branded the Doge Initiative, has been slashing funding across multiple departments. MITRE, which runs not only the CVE program, but also the CWE program, which is the Common Weakness Enumeration program, and other cyber efforts, got hit hard. According to PCMag and the Virginia Business, over 28 million in contracts were cancelled, including the one that funds the CVE. That contract was the primary source of keeping the lights on. Without it, MITRE has been forced to lay off hundreds of staff and halt or scale back key programs. Unless the DHS or someone else can step in with a new agreement, there's no funding to support the CVE operations. So what does that mean for the rest of us? If you're in IT or cyber, this is more than just a US issue. The CVE system is global, even here in Australia. Our security tools, our compliance frameworks, and our vendor patch bulletins, they all rely on those CVE IDs. If the CVE feed stops, you'll see things like delays in vulnerability disclosures, confusion around whether two advisories are talking about the same issue, patch cycles disrupted because there's no standard identifier, and possibly, the worst, a growing gap between when vulnerabilities are found and when they're publicly tracked. This is a gold mine for attackers. It gives them more time to exploit new issues while defences are still stuck in limbo. Might is trying to soften the blow. They've confirmed that historical CVE data will stay accessible via a public GitHub, for instance. But new vulnerabilities won't be catalogued without the new funding. That means CVE numbering authorities, or CNAs, like Microsoft and Google, might still assign CVEs to their own products, but the central coordination, that global glue, disappears. Without central coordination, the risk of duplication, inconsistency, and chaos goes way up. So where do we go from here? As of today, the US government hasn't released an official solution. MITRE says it's ready to restart the operations the moment the funding is restored. But there's no formal commitment. Some in the industry are even floating the idea of a private sector funding or international coalition support. But this raises bigger questions around governance, neutrality, and access. But do we really want the CVE system, which has always been free and public, becoming a paid or proprietary service? 
This is one of those moments that remind us of how fragile some of our most critical infrastructure really is. We take it for granted, but without CVEs, our whole vulnerability management model looks a lot shakier. The hope is that the funding is restored quickly, but even if it does, this should be a wake-up call, not just for the US, but for all of us who depend on global standards. If you work in security, governance, compliance, now's the time to start thinking about contingency plans. And if you're in a position to advocate for policy or funding, do it, because this affects everyone. A world without CVEs, that's a world where defenders are flying blind. Thanks everyone, stay safe and stay secure.